Hello and welcome to ProstateVideos.com. I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. This video I want to talk about watchful waiting for managing clinically localized prostate cancer. Watchful waiting is a, a term that was used many years ago to describe treating men by observation only, meaning they didn't get radiation, they didn't get surgery, they didn't do anything to the tumor that was in the prostate. All they received was hormone therapy if the cancer ever caused a problem later on in life. Now, the idea behind watchful waiting is that a man gets to avoid the side effects caused by the different treatments for the prostate gland itself. The most common are impotence and incontinence and bowel problems that occur with radiation. They occur in a varying extent of patients, depending on many factors, including the age and health of a person, and also the doctor that's using the treatment. So watchful waiting was a way to avoid being at risk for developing those side effects. Now, the trade-off is that if you do need hormone therapy later in life, number one, you may have missed out on a chance to be cured. And Hormone therapy, which means lowering the male sex hormone, also has a series of side effects. So it's not free of side effects that can occur. And they can also affect your quality of life. The difference is that if you do watchful waiting, you avoid immediate side effects, but you may get them later on in your life if you get them at all. Now, we have only one study that's ever been done properly to compare watchful waiting to another treatment. In this case, it was a Scandinavian study that compared it to radical prostatectomy. Men could not choose their treatment. They were assigned to either get surgery or to get watchful waiting. And the results have now been uh, updated to 12 years. At 12 years, there was a better survival in men that had surgery by about 5.4 percent. What that means is 18 men had to be treated to prevent one man from dying of prostate cancer in 12 years. There was also a benefit by preventing the development of metastatic disease, which is widespread cancer. That happened in one out of the 15 men that got treated, one man out of 15 avoided having problems from metastatic disease. Now, many people have raised questions about how this study would compare to a similar study that would be done in the United States. And many people believe that the benefit of surgery would be smaller in the United States because many of the cancers diagnosed today are not life-threatening. They don't need immediate treatment. They may never need to be treated. We're finding more and more cancers like that. And so the challenge is to try and sort out those men who are likely to benefit from getting aggressive treatment and spare other men from having to undergo a treatment that may cause problems with their quality of life. The bottom line is watchful waiting should be discussed as an option for all men that are diagnosed with localized disease. Who's a good candidate? Well, clearly, if you have a life expectancy that's less than 10 years and your tumor is not very aggressive, meaning that the Gleason score is not 8 or 9 or 10, in those cases, watchful waiting may be a very suitable treatment. If you have a high Gleason score, then it may be more dangerous because those cancers can be harmful even within, in, within five years. So the good candidate is a man with a Gleason score of six, a PSA under 10, and there's nothing to feel on his prostate gland. And he may have a life expectancy of 10 years or less, or he may be unhealthy for other health reasons. Watchful waiting may be a suitable thing to do. There's nobody that can say it's definitely the right treatment, but it should be one of the options to consider as you work through all the options for managing your prostate cancer. Hopefully you'll find this information helpful. Thank you.